The dream of every researcher is to be able to translate the initial concepts of basic research into clinical practice and see physicians embracing those concepts and treating patients to save lives. I have been uh, the recipient of uh, a grant when I was a fellow. Effectively, jump started my uh, career in um, resuscitation medicine. I've been working in the field of resuscitation, as I told you, for about 15 years now. I started being a, a resident and a fellow in the laboratory of Keith Lurie, and there I learned a lot. For the first 12 years of my life uh, as a young researcher, I investigated with Keith the concept of improving blood flow during CPR, and we were very fortunate. Currently, we have uh, FDA clearance for a new way of doing CPR, uh, to be used in the United States. That, I think, is the most important contribution that I have seen myself. Currently, in the state of Minnesota, we probably have the highest uh, national, state-wide uh, survival rate from cardiac arrest, uh, more than 15%. And uh, that is um, a significant uh, change from where I started, we was less than 6%. So there is um, now a significant chance that somebody falls down from sudden cardiac death, people will do more bystander CPR, there are more defibrillators available, hospitals are more equipped to receive those patients and provide the care that is needed in order for them to successfully go home and have a normal life. And all of this is uh, in a matter of the last 10 years. I think what I am really excited about for the future of resuscitation is the ability of the, our clinical system to adjust to new ideas. So what we are trying to change here in the Twin Cities is if the first round of advanced cardiac life support has failed, then those people are moved with mechanical CPR devices in the hospital and where we as interventional cardiologists come in and we take them to the cath lab and take over respiration for them until we can find out if there is a reversible problem into their um, system that we can fix quickly in order to have them come back to life. So this is a huge initiative and it has a huge potential.